28 days after its release, The Rise of Skywalker has now hit a billion dollars at the box office. And yes, for some fans, this is their real life horror movie. Grayson talks. Now how could this be, considering that other sites have promised those fans that it would never get there? Well, that was just shameless clickbait because it had an amazing week during Christmas, making it almost definite that it would make a billion sooner or later. Now, who's responsible for this? Well, the biggest markets outside of the United States for the Rise of Skywalker is the United Kingdom, since the United Kingdom has a lot of pride that most of the new trilogy was shot in the United Kingdom with UK actors. Then, it's followed up by Germany, France, Australia, then China. Mostly because China doesn't really like Star Wars, because they never got the original trilogy. Now sure, it did take 10 more days than The Last Jedi, and double how long it took The Force Awakens. So it's obvious that Lucasfilms isn't running optimally. But there is no shame in a movie taking 28 days to make a billion. Aladdin took 32 days to hit a billion, and Toy Story 4 took a merely 58 days to make a billion. But Kathleen Kennedy and her team, and mostly Disney, can hold their heads up high that they did something merely right because they got most of their movies to a billion besides Solo. We don't want to talk about Solo. And they released like the best ride in Disneyland so far, Star Wars The Rise of the Republic. And they're responsible for one of the best TV shows of 2019. Look at Baby Yoda bringing people together. So this is a lesson for Disney that maybe they should start hiring people who are actual fans of Star Wars who and who actually know Star Wars. But Disney won't come out and say that they were entirely wrong. They'll probably just say, we just want to do some new things just because they made a billion dollars on their last Star Wars movie until like 2021. I would personally want John Favreau and Dave Filoni to head up the new Star Wars trilogy. Who would you want? I'm Grayson McIntyre and don't forget to subscribe to Grayson Talks Everything.